Today in history. On today's date 71 years ago, July 17, 1950, the Salvation Army General, Evangeline Booth, who became world famous as the fourth general of the Worldwide Salvation Army, was promoted to glory at the age of 84. On 1865, Evangeline Corey Booth was born on Christmas Day at the village of Snyton, a suburb of the city of Nottingham in the county of Nottinghamshire, England. Little Eva Booth's mother, Catherine Mumford, named her for the character of the same name in a book that she had just read, the 1852 anti-slavery novel, Uncle Tom's Cabin. Evangeline Booth was involved with her father's work from an early age. Educated at home, she was preaching on street corners, whilst still in her teens. She was given command of the Malibon Corps at the age of 20 and at 23 was made field commander for all of England. In 1891, she was reassigned to the training college in London, preparing new officers in the Salvation Army. Five years later, she was made Territorial Commander of the Salvation Army in Canada, which included responsibility for Newfoundland. She travelled Canada many times during her tenure, delivering the Army's message to often hostile crowds. In 1904, she was transferred to the United States as Commander, a position she was to hold for 30 years. She is credited with putting the Salvation Army on a firm footing, both spiritually and socially, in the United States. In 1934, Evangeline Booth became the fourth general of the Salvation Army. I have been deeply moved by the very enthusiastic and affectionate messages which have come to me from all parts of the world. These messages of assurance, of confidence in me, as the Salvation Army's international leader, with their sincere expression of appreciation of my having followed in the years that have gone by in the footsteps of the founder of the Salvation Army, my father, with all this goodwill toward me, shall be answered by me in sacrificial service to the people of every land. She served in that capacity until 1939, when she officially retired. Retirement did not stop her from being one of the great assets of the Salvation Army. However, as she continued to spread a message wherever she went, an orator and preacher with a tremendous power of delivery, she was in much demand as a speaker throughout the United States. Many of her addresses were published in the book, Toward a Better World. Thank you. Please subscribe our channel for more Salvation Army histories.